Chongguan expresses sky, the root of everything in the universe and the universe itself, and the imagery world that has its being in the sky. The progress line of Chongguan Pumse that represents the infinite potential of the sky that expresses creation, change and completion is the Korean vow U. We will now take a look at the key moves of Chongguan Pumse. Chungwan Pumse consists of seven key moves, namely Bamjumok Chi Jidagi, Nalge Pyogi, Huidulo Maki, Huidulo Jabatangigi, Gumgang Yop Jidagi, Tesan Milgi. And Chajanbal. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Chungguan Pumse. Pamjumok Chijirigi is a technique to thrust and strike a target at chin elevation from the waist up using the knuckle fist. The elbows should face downward, and the armpits should touch the body. Be careful not to let the elbow open outward, creating space under the arm. Nalge Pyogi should be performed slowly. Start with Gyopson. Raise the hand to the front of the chest, then inhale. When both hands are in front of the chest, pull the wrists back. Push both palms outward and exhale. Remember that the wrists should not straighten when pushing the hands. Huidulo Maki is a technique to draw a big circle with the arm and block by swinging the outer wrist. This is a soft move, so perform the move without disconnect and make sure not to pause abruptly. Huidulo Jabadangigi is a technique where you open the hand and draw a big circle, block by swinging, then pull an opponent's arm. This move must also be performed smoothly in motion like Huiduro Maki. Start with Jagan Doljogui to block the face and thrust. Thrusting in the Yopporo Nolpyosogi posture is called Yopjirigi. Both fists must not start Jirigi from the waist. Start with both hands from the waist and perform tesan milgi with the palm of your hand. Push the palm of your hand forward to lower abdomen elevation on the same side as the front foot with the tip of the hand facing downward. Push the palm hand forward to philtrum elevation on the same side as the hind foot with the tip of the hand facing upward. 
Both hands must form a straight line with the center line, and your arms should straighten naturally. Be careful not to let your shoulders rise. For Wendy Kubi, Chajunbar is a technique where you move while your center is placed on your left leg. Maintain the Dwikubi posture by pulling your left foot the moment your right foot pushes and sets forward about a half step. Do not set your foot forward after pulling your hind leg. These are the seven key moves of Chungwan Pumse. We will now look at the moves in succession connecting each move. The key moves of Chungwan first part consist of Gyopson Junbi, Nalke Pyogi, Du Bamjumok Chi Jirigi, Wen Sona Bitoromaki, Wen Hand Kama Jabakulmyo Jirigi, Oren Sona Bitoromaki, Oren Hand Kama Jabakulmyo Jirigi. When sona pitoro maki, when hand kama chabakulmyo, and yopchagi, and when aremaki, and oren jirigi. When performing tubam chumok jijirigi, followed by nage pyogi, lower your arms and place your hands in front of your lower abdomen. Draw a circle across your chest, moving above your head and draw a circle by scattering both hands sideways. Move the hand to both the waist with the back of the hand facing upward and perform Pamjumok Chijirigi. When performing Nalke Pyogi, scatter an opponent's attempt to grab or attack with a headbutt by using both hands. Then strike an opponent under the chin or the lower part of the face with Pamjumok Chijirigi. Bitoromaki is a technique used to block with the hand opposite the foot set forward by slightly twisting the body. In Chungwan Pumse, pull the hind leg lightly and block by twisting the torso. This technique enables a quick and strong counterattack since you can attack by unraveling the twisted torso. When performing Wen Hand Gama Chabakulmyo Jirigi, Move your center forward while coiling and grabbing an opponent's wrist by twisting your left hand outward. Then move the body closer to the arm and pull with a strong force. Perform slowly, maximizing the force used. When performing the opposite Oren Hand Gama Chaba Gumyo Jirigi, twist the right hand outward. When performing Oren Sona Bitturomaki, pull your right foot slightly forward. Pull your foot and move your center slightly forward. When connecting Wen Hand Gama Jabal Gurgi, Yopchagi, and Wen Aremaki, pull the left arm in the opposite direction and perform Yopchagi with a shout. <laughs> When performing Oren Jirigi, set your foot without any change in elevation. Cautions for Chungwan first part. Taking a closer look. When pushing both hands during Nalke Pyogi, be careful not to let the wrist straighten. Tu Pamjumok Chijirigi must be connected without pause. When performing Wen Solna Bituromaki, the foot must not move outside the body during apgubi. When performing wen hand gama chabakulmyo jirigi, do not lift the left elbow outward. When performing bitoromaki, head elevation must not change. When performing oren hand gama chabakulmyo jirigi, do not lift the right elbow outward. We will now practice the moves of Chungwan first part in succession while watching the video.
The key moves of Chungwon's second part consist of Wen Anpalmok Kodoro Pakatmaki, Hui Duromako Jirigi, Wen Hand Chocho Nemyo Chabatangyo Oren Jirigi, Oren Anpalmok Kodoro Pakatmaki, Oren Hand Chocho Nemyo Chabatangyo Wen Jirigi, and Oren Hand Chocho Nemyo Chabatangyo Oren Jirigi. When performing Wen Anpalmok Kodoro Pakatmaki, Elevation of your right arm should be the same as your left elbow, but horizontal. Be careful not to let the tip of your left fist rise over your shoulder. When swinging, blocking, and thrusting the torso, turn your left arm over inward during Godoro Anparmok Bakatmaki and lower it to the inside of your body. Then swing above the head and block like Orgulmaki. Pull to the back left, then connect to Jirigi. When connecting your Wen Hand Chocho Nemyo Chaba Dangigi to Oren Jirigi, open your left hand, draw a big circle to swing and block, then pull an opponent's arm. This move must be connected smoothly while moving forward with minimal change in head elevation. Cautions for Chungwan Second Part Taking a Closer Look. When performing Huiduromako Jirugi, the moves must not be disconnected or rigid. Concentrate on connecting them smoothly. The same goes for the Wen Hand Chocho Nemyo Jabatangyo Orun Jirugi move. Do not disconnect or pause the moves. Connect them smoothly. We will now practice the moves of Chungwan second part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Chungwan third part consist of Oren Anpalmok Bitturomaki, Wen Jirigi, Oren Apchagi and Oren Jirigi, Oren Sonna Godoro Aremaki, and Oren Anparmok Pakatmaki and Godoro Aremaki. When performing Oren Anparmok Bitoromaki, draw a circle with the right hand inside the torso and block with one motion. The upper body should twist 45 degrees. When taking the first half step with Chajunpal, during the connection of Oren Anparmok Bakatmaki and Godoro Aremaki, perform Oren Anparmok Montongmaki. Strike the forearm moving upward with a four fingered gathered left palm. When taking the second half step, lower the right elbow again and perform Aremaki. This time, Strike the right forearm with the left palm and clench the fist. These moves must be connected quickly. Cautions for Chungwan third part, taking a closer look. When performing Oren Anparmok Bitturomaki, beware that your center will weaken if your upper body twists excessively. The same goes for Wenjurigi. Do not excessively twist the upper body. When connecting Oren Anparmok Bakatmaki and Godoro Aremaki, pull the hind foot first and do not set the front foot forward. We will now practice the moves of Chungwan third part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Chungwan fourth part consist of Oren Gumgam Yopjirigi, Duyo Sambek Yukshipto Dora Pyojokchagi, and Gumgam Oren Yopjirigi, Pyonson Wesantur Aremaki. Pyonson Wesantur Aremaki. Tesan Milgi. And Tesan Milgi. 
When performing Gungang Yopjirigi, start with Oren Chagan Dojogui. Block your face and perform Jirigi. When connecting Duyo Sambek Yukshipto Dora Pyojok Chagi and Gungang Oren Yopjirigi, shift your weight on your right foot for airborne Pyojok Chagi and jump in the air by kicking the ground. Then, twist your body to the left and spin 360 degrees mid-air. The left foot will set on the ground while the body is spinning in mid-air. Kick the palm of your left hand, the target, with your right foot blade before setting your foot. Your left foot must not touch the ground before kicking the target. Start with Oren Chagan Dojokui. Block your face. Then connect with Jirigi. When performing Tesan Mirgi, turn your body to the left. Get up by pulling your left foot. Then assume the Moasogi posture. Place both hands in front of the lower abdomen. Raise them above the head. Then lower them, drawing a circle on both sides. Bend the elbows at torso elevation. Place them in front of the solar plexus. Bring the palms of your hands close to your body, right hand facing downward, left hand facing upward. Set your right foot forward. Push the palms of your hands below and above forward by extending your elbows while assuming the Oren Bomsogi posture. Perform the more slowly exerting force in the lower abdomen. Push the left palm of your hand to philtrum elevation. The right palm of your hand below to the lower abdomen elevation. Place both hands again like gyopsom in front of the lower abdomen. Raise them above your head and lower them drawing a circle on both sides. Bend the elbows at torso elevation. Place them in front of the solar plexus then bend back the wrists. This time, Perform the move in the opposite direction. Bring the palm of your hands close to your body, with the right hand facing upward and the left hand facing downward. Set your left foot forward. Push the palms of your hands below and above forward by extending your elbows while assuming the Wen Bomsogi posture. Like the previous move, perform the move slowly, exerting force in the lower abdomen. Push the right palm of your hand above to philtrum elevation the left palm of your hand below to lower abdomen elevation. Cautions for Chengguan fourth part, taking a closer look. When performing Oren Gumgang Yop Jirigi, do not perform Jirigi with both fists next to the waist. When connecting Duyo Sambek Yukshipto Dora Pyojok Chagi and Gumgang Oren Yop Jirigi, the left foot must not touch the ground before kicking the target and Jirigi must not start from the waist. When performing the first Tesan Mirgi, set the right foot first. When performing the second Tesan Mirgi, set the left foot first. We will now practice the moves of Chengguan fourth part in succession while watching the video. This concludes the training for Chengguan Pumse. We will take another look at all the moves and master Pumse.
We have looked at the key moves of Chengguan Pumse and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. Be mindful of the spirit of Chengguan that embodies the infinite sky with training, and you will be able to master the intricate moves accurately. We will see you again in the Hansu Pumse video. Thanks for watching.